in today's session we are going to see regarding the precedence network diagram with example without the lag as well as lead time at the end of the session the particular learner will be able to construct the precedence network diagram which is required for the project management this is a typical representation of the activity in the precedence network diagram here we are observing that the rectangular node is divided into the various cells of the activity times its duration as well as float and its description now this is the overall example for which we are going to construct the precedence network diagram if you observe here there is a starting node with a zero duration and when we see the succeeding activities that a b and d are the starting activity so let's start to construct the precedence network diagram for the present example so as we observe here a b and d are the starting activity and next c and the e as well as f and g are the activity which are depend on activity a b and d let's see for the first of all we will construct the starting activities so here this is the starting activity with the zero duration a this is d and the b now as we have seen the next activity are c this is the overall relationship between the starting activity that is the you can say the due start with the zero duration and the relationship with the a d and b next is c f g and e activities and their relationship are as shown by the arrow connectivity now here we observe that activity c is depend on a as well as activity f is depend on a according to the table description we have constructed as it is and g is the activity which is depend on d and e is the activity which depend on b here in this network diagram i have already presented all the activity times that is forward times and the backward time with the float later we will see the how the overall forward part times are been obtained as well as backward part times are obtained now coming to the next this is the h activity which is depend on c as well as which is depend on c activity so it is been shown as is here and the i is the activity which is depend on h as well as it is depend on the f f activity and the j is the activity which is depend on g and the k is the activity which is depend on e so finally there is the end node with the duration of zero so the link between i j and k is shown as it is if you observe all this network diagram it is clear that all activity have the relationship of finish to start and there is no any lag and the lead time between the activities now let's see the forward path or you can say forward times of the each individual activities that is est and eft as we are observing this is a starting activity its duration of est will be 0 0 plus 0 it's a 0 only that is a eft this eft will be now est of activity a d and b that's why 0 0 0 0 plus 7 it's a 7 0 plus 10 it's a 10 Zero plus five, it's a five. So, E F T of A is seven, E F T of uh, D is ten, and E F T of B is a five. So here, now this E F T will be the E S T of activity C and F because they are depend on A. That is, so here seven plus eleven, it's a eighteen. Here seven plus five, it's a twelve. And here, if you observe, D is a activity. which is have the relationship with g so g 
E S T will be the equal to E F T of D. So ten is carried as it is. Now here two E has the relationship between with the B. So five is carried as it is. So when one we are observing that the overall E S T of C F G and E is been obtained, and we have also obtained the E F T of all these four activities. That is C. F, G, and E by help of E, S, T. So the eighteen, twelve, eighteen, and the fourteen are the E, F, T of C, F, G, and E. Now this is the activity which have the relationship with H. So H is the activity which is going to start when the C is going to finish. So eighteen is carried as it is here, and F has the relationship between R uh, with the I. So Here we observe that the I is the activity which is depend on H as well as F. So here the E S T of A I I depend on both the E F T of H as well as E F T of F. So once once we observe the E F T of F is twelve as well as H is twenty six. This both out of these two activities time that is E F T twelve and twenty six. We have to take the maximum one, so we have carry the twenty six as it is. So twenty six plus it's a thirty. Here to eighteen is E F T of G. It will be carried as it is because it is a relationship of finish to start. So eighteen, eighteen plus twelve it's again thirty. Here to fourteen is carried as it is here. Fourteen plus three three is a seventeen. Now these are the I J and K are the activity which having the E F T of thirty, thirty and seventeen. Now, at the end, that is the end due node. So it is you can also call as a finishing node also. So, finally, its uh, maximum time is carried. That is the thirty as a E S T of the end node or the finish node. Now, E F T of the end node or the finish node is. Thirty plus zero, it's a thirty. So this is the overall, the forward path. Similarly, you can go for the backward path as we used to do in the act, uh, activity on arrow, that is A O O A O A network diagram. So thirty minus zero, thirty. Your thirty is carried as it is there for the each individual activity, that is L F T. Thirty minus four, it's a twenty-six, and your thirty minus twelve, it's a eighteen. And year two thirty minus three is twenty seven. So the float is zero year for I zero for J but thirteen for K. So this is the indication that I and J are the critical one. Now moving backward, twenty six is carried as it is here, as well as here. That is the L F T of H as well as L F T of F. So twenty six minus eight is eighteen and twenty six minus five is twenty one. So, out of these two, when we observe these two activities are the activity with the float of zero as well as fourteen. So H is the again critical activity and F is a non-critical activity. Now, this eighteen is carried as a L F T for G. So eighteen minus eight, it's a ten. That is the L S T of G. So again, this is a critical activity because it has the float of zero. So similarly, here to twenty-seven minus nine, it's eighteen. But when we see the float, that is twenty-seven minus fourteen, it's thirteen. So here the float is of thirteen, so it is a non-critical act. Now moving backward, the C, the twenty-seven, uh, sorry, C is E, sorry, L S T is seven. So seven is carried as here, and here, and it's a twenty-one. Out of these two, we have to take the minimum one as a L F T of A. So seven is taken as a L F T of A. So seven minus seven it's a zero. Your ten minus ten it's a zero. Your eighteen minus five it's a thirteen. So here we observe that activity A is critical one, D is critical one, but B is non-critical one. And when we go again backward, out of this. Three times that is L F T of sorry L S T of A D and B 
that is 0 0 and 13 we have to take the minimum one so 0 minus 0 it's a overall 0 so this is the overall time calculation of forward path and the backward path now the critical path is a c h i and end one more activity uh, one more critical path is there that is start d g j and end but out of these two we have to select the maximum um, the path which is having the maximum critical activity so we have selected the first one that is start a c h i and n and the duration is 30 days so this is overall a o n network diagram for the above question select the correct answer for this so this is the correct answer for the above questions which are been bolted by the red color these are the references for today's session Thank you.